Hey guys, so I, I'm going to do a video of introducing all of my pets. So starting right here, I have Redtail. Um, we got him a month ago. He's a dragon scaled male beta fish. He eats um pellets and blood worms. Um, that I feed him. Um, in this little container, I take. I just use these tongs, grab the food out, and then I just drop it in, and he'll eat it. Um, I got him from PetSmart. And I, I, I really liked him because um, I liked his designs. And when I came right up to um, his cup, he swam right up to the glass. He is not a regular beta fish. He's not an epic beta fish. He's a rare beta fish. So um, we used to have a snail in here um, when we got him. But um, he wasn't feeling well because he just um, kept on flipping himself over. He didn't do what a usually snail does, sticking up to the glass and crawling around. He just kept on falling off so we took him out of the tank we put him in this jar and yeah he's not he's still not doing very well he's just always hanging up at the top and yeah so if he doesn't survive then we're gonna need to get a new snail but if he does we're probably gonna move him back into this tank where he lives he eats all the gunk in the tank like the algae and the plant and the skull and stuff and it's just getting dirty that he's not in this tank so the decorations that we have in here is a beta bed which is basically like a leaf thing and it's suction cupped over here suction cup on the side they call it a beta bed because beta fishes um they like to like lay on it and rento has seemed to have done that a lot um when this was in here Right here we have the filter that blows bubbles and when you're looking at it from the front it also kind of looks cool with the bubbles just blowing out behind. You have this big long tube right there as you can see and then it just stretches all the way down to right there which is the pump that blows the bubbles. Here we have the moss ball. I think sometimes red tails like also use it as a bed to lay on. I'm at night. So right here I have a fish skull, which is cool. Um, it has holes that you can hide in. It's kind of like a little hide. So in the back there we have the heater because I don't know why they just like um, heat. So mm -hmm. that's the heater. He sometimes hides under the heater because there is a little gap under the heater. So he sometimes likes to hide under there. So here I have the, a purple and pink plant. If I didn't have that, it wouldn't really look good. So I, I really wanted it just to have like a plant or something in there. So the last thing we have in the rental thing is these three little tube things that the snail used to hide in, but now red tail hides in it. When I always tap the tank, he always comes closer. So here are my pet roly polies. I really wanted to get them because they're basically like little armored creatures. Yeah, they like to hide a lot. Oh yeah. There so there we go. go. That's a that's a roly poly right there. Oh, and there's actually two right there. One right there, and one right there. Roly polies are not the only bugs that I have in here. So here I have a snail. The snails are cool. I actually have two of them. These are related to the roly polies. These are millipedes. Sometimes the millipedes roll up when they're scared. I found all of these little critters at my school because there's a, this big little mud or dirt area and I found a ton of these little roly polies um, there. So I decided to pick a bunch of them up so we got them about the month ago and they still have been thriving because I've been giving them like a bunch of like dead decaying leaves. As you can see, this one has like holes in it that they've been eating. So this is their food source. We have like a, a dead bean plants. As you can see right here, these are dead bean plants. Then I have some more wild dead decaying leaves and then we have some moss here, which I don't know if they eat or not. But yeah, it's pretty gross. And sometimes we give them like spinach and stuff. 
And then here we have a bunch of moss that I planted in. I'm not sure if it's doing well. Yeah, it's like brown spots in it, but another piece here. Here I have the rock pile where I found them. There was a bunch of rocks there and I just found them there. This is basically a little toy centipede that I just put in there for decoration. We punch holes in the thing so they can breathe. We also have a ton of little holes on the lid. So if they didn't have holes, they would die. And oh my gosh, I found a baby roly poly. That tiny little white thing's a baby roly poly. It's right there. It means they're breeding, right? Yeah, they're breeding. This is Pebbles, my leopard gecko. We got her two years ago. We got her at the Reptile Expo. Um, she eats dubia roaches, um, crickets, and mealworms. So the people at the Reptile Expo, Expo told us she was a female. So, of course, this box isn't her cage. She has a big new cage. Um, we did a video of that. And to see that video, click the link below. I really like her tail because it's super smushy. Um, like, you literally not just gentle, super gently just do this and it's squishy already. So we got her really cheap at the Rex Reptile Expo because her tail was funky. Like, it's not how a Le leopard gecko's tail should be. It should be nice and long, but her tail is short. So um, they get their name Leopard Gecko because of all the spots that they have on them, like a leopard. And also, um, with leopard geckos, is they can't crawl on walls and stuff. They actually don't climb walls like real geckos do. You can see her claws right here. And if I just lift her up a little bit, you can see her little nails. You can hear her little nails scratching too. <laughs> we also did a maze video of her and she made it all the way through. So check the link below to see that video too. With all your pets, you always need to wash your hands really well um, with holding your pets. Like the roly polies I did and the leopard gecko. You need to do like three pumps of soap and plenty of water. So these are my volcano shrimp. Um, they're in this jar and it looks dirty because um, it is algae that they have not been eating very much. Um, so we're gonna do a cleaning um, video very soon. So they're in brackish water. They've been in this jar for a very long time and they seem to be thriving. They eat fish food and algae and then the algae that's on the glass and then the algae on the ground, and yeah, that's this kind of algae. It's fun watching them swim, and some of them are like palish white, and then most of them are bright red. So as you might have seen in our other videos, we have a parakeet named Pillow that we got two years ago, and a cockatiel named Pearl um, one year ago. Their favorite snack is millet, and their favorite treat is popcorn, and their regular food is seeds and pellets, too. Oh, and they eat vegetables, right? What kind of vegetables oh, do yeah. they like? Oh, yeah. We, we give them, like, kale, um, broccoli, spinach, carrots, and maybe, I think, purple cabbage. Oh, they all both they, want... All they want millet. You go cool. Is this their favorite snack? Yep, their favorite snack. They're going crazy. Oh! <laughs> it, it all flies down. Oh no! But we give them spray millet. That's what we feed them. Hello, our parakeet. He loves to play with bells. So they are very, very noisy.
<laughs> and they, yes, they like to hop on everything. <laughs> so those were all my pets. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.